Welcome back guys, this is Anthony and we're going to continue our Gmail API tutorials today. And the way we left off, let's see, we were able to build a website, display our labels on our website from our Gmail account. It actually just pulls it straight from there after providing the permissions. So this is what it looks like after it's done. This is what the code looks like. I've got an index, a Gmail, and a connection file. And my index basically just reads the labels and then displays it on the screen. That's where the magic is happening. Today, the next step is to actually access a all of our messages um, IDs and then isolate one of those IDs and display the contents of that email. So um, let's get started. If you recall, we use the PHP Quick Start to build this and we've been modifying it as we go. So if you're interested in learning how this works, then and you haven't done this yet, then rewind us a couple episodes back and then just start from the beginning. But um, yeah, so today we're going to do the references. And last time we said that the references really isn't something you can use until you have a functioning website. Well, now you do. So go to references and what we want to do is list our messages first. So if you go to users.messages, because remember the goal is to actually start accessing our messages and not just the labels. We're going to go to users.messages.list and if I scroll to the bottom here, you can see there's a nice little code snippet here that I'm going to click the PHP tab, make sure I've got that. I can select all of this, copy it, and over here in the index file, you can see that all I'm doing is I'm returning a call to the read labels method. Now I'm going to return a call to the list messages method, which is there, but I need to create it first in the gmail.php file. So this is my read labels. So after that somewhere, just you know, press enter a couple times, you're going to paste this code. And it's pretty much out of the box ready to go. That's the cool thing about coding is a lot of times you don't even have to change much. So just for consistency's sake, you can see between the two, we've got public function read labels. We're going to call this one public function list messages. Up here we've got no parameters and read labels. Down here we do, but let's look at what they are. So we've got service, we've got user ID. Well, up here we've got service and we've got user ID, same thing, but uh, named a little bit different. So let's copy this. We're going to paste it down here. That way we can get rid of these two parameters and we won't need them when we call it later. And um, user ID, I think, was like that. So that is literally, that's it to make this work. That's all you need. And what it's going to do is it's going to loop through all of my messages and store them into an array. And then it's going to print out the ID down here of each of those messages. Now, I'm not interested in doing like, you know, my entire inbox because I've got thousands and thousands of emails. So for now, I'm just going to go at the top of this do. I'm going to say if $i equals, we'll say 5. Uh, we'll say if $i equals 5, then break. And that's... Yeah, and then we'll do dollar i plus plus. So this is a nice little counter that'll allow me to count through the threads. Now you're going to notice that I'm going to have more than five messages display because this is actually pulling threads the way this works, and each thread could have multiple messages within it. Um, not going to lie, I don't like the way they, they organize that, but that's just kind of how it works. So at the beginning we'll say dollar i equals zero, and then we'll save. And uh, moving on. Let's just make sure that, that that's it. Wow. So list messages is here. In the index file, we want to call list messages instead of read labels. We're going to save that. And then let's move this over to our server and see what this looks like. Uh, hopefully this will work. So let's refresh. And well, there we go. So there is our messages. This is message with ID. And notice at the very bottom of this screen here, there's it says array right here. The reason for that is because I'm actually in my Gmail file, I'm returning messages, which is an array. And I'm not actually using that in my output. The only output is my prints right here, print, and that's really it. So let's take one of these messages and let's see what we can do as far as viewing some of the contents of that message. So to do that, let's go back to our users messages list and now let's go to the users messages get. Now if you go down to the bottom of this one you can see PHP you've got another function this one is get message. <clears throat> so I could copy this this over actually you know let's just do that I can copy this over actually no let's not do that let's just take one line out of here let's do 
the actual line that will get my message here. And we're gonna copy that and let's paste it right after our print. And let's look at what we're actually doing here. So we're saying message with ID, message get ID. So it'll print that out, great. And then after that we're saying message equals service user messages get. Okay, so user ID, what is that? That is here. So we can just copy that. And for each of the message IDs, we can access it that way. And, oh, I'm sorry, that's user ID. Message ID goes here, boom. And then user ID is what? What is the user ID? Well, we've already got that defined there. So there's nothing else necessary there. Um, now, I don't want to re reuse um, message here because I've got, you know, for each messages as a message. But what I can do is I can say, um, it will say dollar msg equals and then there is our our actual message so the next goal is to echo out to the screen um, we're going to use this cool tag it's called pre and what we'll do is we'll say we'll say echo out pre and then we'll say var export and that is a php command and you'll see in a minute what it's going to do for us but we're going to say var export dollar msg comma space true Okay, if you need more information on how that works, just a quick Google will tell you, but um, we want to do that and then end our pre right here. End pre. So let's save that and we're going to move our Gmail over again and then we're going to refresh our screen and then see what it looks like the second time around. Now again, this may take a minute. Oh, actually, it didn't take very long at all. So check this out. This is the makeup of an email message as displayed on the screen now. So I can actually access any of these by just looking here. So you can see we've got arrays here, we've got objects here, there's all sorts of cool stuff. You can see the payload, within the payload you've got, um, you know, it says message part, parts, blah, 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 blah. What I'm really interested in are the headers. So here you've got headers, which is an array. You can say headers zero delivered to values. So I can figure out just by navigating through the headers uh, who it was delivered to. Uh, one here is the received. Two here is the XM or the SMTP source. And I mean, it, it goes on and on. So X received name, uh, name, it goes on and on. But what we really care about is the, the body, right? So if I keep going through this, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of stuff with names and values here, you know, 22 name value. And then eventually I'm going to get to one that's gonna say body. So you got parts here, there's another parts, we've got zero and there's a body right there with the data. Now look, that's not exactly in the English language. <laughs> so I can't really read that. And it actually looks like it's just the same thing over and over again, um, which is kind of weird, but let's keep going. So here's more, we've got body, data, and then we've got more stuff here. Let's take this right here and let's just see if we can figure out what this means. So let me just, let me, how do I scroll back to my left here? Let's do home. Oh boy, we're lost now. Uh, Let's try this. There we go. All right, so let me go back down, find the, here's a body. Let's figure out what this is actually saying. So let's copy this and we will paste it into a new screen. Let's do, um, well, what language do we think that that's in? My guess is that it would be, hmm. Does anybody know? Hmm. HTML, no. I've got this cool little cheat sheet here that can tell me a little bit more. Probably going to be base64. So let's do base64 converter. Base64 URL decode. Cool, let's put that there. Now if I paste here, I still have my end quotes, which I don't necessarily need, and my beginning quotes. No, nope, that's not there. So let's decode this. This result goes down here. Hmm. 
Hmm. UTF. Sure. Decode from base 64. Use the simplified form below. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Decode. Uh -huh. It's giving me nothing. Oh, it is there. Ha, I just need to scroll down. All right. So look, host news plus blah, blah, blah. Affordable ways to refresh a room. February. So this is the converted version of my web page. Click, click, bait, click, 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 blah, 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 blah. So that actually means something. So now if I go back over here, I can see that this body means something. So let's just uh, look at it. Oh, here's another one here. So let's see what this one says. Let's copy that. Let's go over to here and let's try it again. And decode. Doc type, public system HTML right here. You've got a bunch of stuff which you can't really read. Oh, you can read some of this. So you can see some of this actually converted right, some of it didn't. And I mean, maybe it's some images. Um, hmm, cool stuff. But the goal is to get one of these to actually display on my website. So I'm going to try to do that in the next three minutes. And um, so in order to do that, I need to figure out how to find this body here. So right now I'm saying, um, starting at the beginning of the message, let's scroll up here. Message with ID, blah. Message, array, categories, inbox. Okay, got it. Payload. So let's start with payload and see what that gives me. So let's do uh, message. Let's do payload. P-A-Y-L-O-A-D. Control S. And then we'll move Gmail over. And this is just going to show you how you can figure out what this stuff does just by playing around with it. So check it out. Now we're actually starting at the payload. And it's actually giving me that one layer in. And so next, below payload would be what? So we've got arrays, we've got array 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 23, 24, 25. Now we've got body. Okay, so let's try that now. Let's go to uh, payload. Let's do body, B-O-D-Y. And then we'll save that. We'll move that over. We will refresh, and now hopefully we will just get this body with stuff below it after this refreshes. And then we'll just kind of walk our way into our message. So look, there we go, message with ID, blah, 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 data, null, and you can see that I actually didn't grab the right thing here. So this is, this is wrong, um, but I can actually back out pretty easily and figure out where I went wrong pretty easily. We're going to save that, move it back, and then try it again. This is how we learn. Let's refresh screen. And I'm going to find body. B-O-D-Y. So it looks like it found this first body here. So that was not what I wanted. I want to have body and then... Oh, I see. You see, body is actually within the one of the um, subscripts here. So it's going to be array parts 0, 1. So let's try that. Let's try parts 1 body. If I get this to work, I'm going to end the video because I'm limited to 15 minutes, and then we are going to pick this up in the next one. But again, the goal is just to get down to the body and then isolate that, that code, this right here, data. Bam. Cool. So this is our body. This is our data. And so now if I just do one more layer and I say data, then I got it. You can also, there's also some methods that you can use like get data, which I can go over later. But um, this just shows you how to kind of get through the, the code itself. And let's move that over. And then hopefully we will just have this, which will be our message bodies. Cool. So let's refresh that. And there it is. So believe it or not, those are your email messages. So the next thing is to con convert it and end the video because we're out of time. Goodbye.